Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I figured we'd do a singles update for whenever this resonates. So this is going to be for air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, singles, you know, for whenever it resonates, for the upcoming week, the week ahead. So whenever you watch this, the week ahead. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What do we got for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for the week ahead? From the moment they watch this, the week ahead. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ooh, the world. Wonderful. So you guys have a new beginning here. A big one. A big one. So this is big. Now you may meet somebody online. Whoever that you're going to come in contact with may be somebody that lives at a distance. Um, whatever this is, this is this is something big. And it's, it's like one chapter of your life has ended and a new one is beginning. So wherever you're headed, you're headed towards success. This is for singles, remember. Ooh, happiness too. Now, we have an 11. And a one, because two plus nine equals eleven. So, one, 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 one. So I, I would consider this three one. So, manifestation. You guys are manifesting something that is going to bring you a lot of bliss. There's going to be a lot of happiness here, definitely. Now you may be. And this just this just came to me. You, I mean, this is manifesting. It is. Something is manifesting, but it may not come to fruition until summer. And I know you're like, summer? What the hell? Well, sometimes it takes time to heal. This is a healing card as well. The sun is a healing. Maybe you're still completing a cycle because this is completion. Okay, the world is a completion card. And if somebody lives at a distance, it may take that time to grow. Because there's growth and there's healing. There's manifesting. There's... Something really, really good coming in, put it that way. Magician in the mirror. Well, that would be Gemini. You're manifesting. Definitely you're manifesting something new. Then Whatever you're manifesting is going to be really, really good. Okay, with that sun card. Whatever you envision, whatever you see when you look in a mirror... You know, what, but, but in this case, it's visions. Whatever you envision, it is manifesting. So be really careful about your thoughts. You have a lot of power at this time. So, you know, we have this uh, new moon coming up. Set your intentions. I'm telling you right now, by summertime, you'll get your wish. Do it. If you don't know how, look it up, how to set intentions. All you need is a piece of paper. You write down what you want. Don't write down what you don't want. Write down what you want. By summertime, you'll get your wish. That's This is what's happening here. You have a, a, a really um, strong ability to call in whatever you want starting right now. So start manifesting because you have the power to manifest at this time. <laughs> and the endless, endless, endless possibilities. I mean, you have multiple options here. Look at all the doors. Multiple options, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, singles. I'm going to have to move this down. Aha! door to personal healing and happiness and I remember I said something about healing I believe you guys are going through a healing right now you are healing you're healing from something still sometimes it takes years to heal but this healing leads to happiness these cards are very similar so you guys are going to get the happiness that you deserve but you're still going through some healing process now remember I said summer could be June, July. I see something manifesting by June, July. But you got to set your intentions now. And that's why these readings are so important. Maybe you do have a little bit of healing to, to do before you can get that extreme bliss that you so much deserve. Okay? Completion. So, you know, things don't happen overnight. They don't happen overnight. 
Um, but I feel like you are receiving some sort of divine guidance and you are going to receive your pot of gold, but I feel like right now you're still on this journey. You're starting on this journey to bringing the balance back, to bringing the harmony back. You're still working. You're still going through some sort of process of completion. But you are definitely going in a good direction. The garden and the great. This is waiting patiently for the arrival. They hear your prayers. Whatever you're manifesting is going to happen. Your prayers are going to be answered. They are. This week, I can already tell you, this week is a week of you setting the intention to call in that one. You have to think positive. This is positive thinking as well. Your thoughts truly do become things. This is coming up for a reason. These words are coming out for a reason. If you think negative, that's what you're going to call in. <coughs> There's a re reason why the words come out of my mouth. To set you in the right direction and I think that you guys are headed in the right direction you are headed in the right direction but you got to make sure you choose wisely you do and you got to make sure you're healed so that when this person comes in you're ready you're ready this is a waiting period you're going you're waiting right now but look beyond that gate there is a lot of green grass there's a lot of growth and you are, these butterflies, that's spiritual guidance. You are being, and the threes of your prayers are being heard. They are being heard. They are being heard. And your soulmate is going to come home. These two are so, the, your soulmate is going to come home. It is. And the, I don't think this is somebody from your past, okay? I don't. Not as of yet, anyway. Journey. This is leaving the past behind, okay? That's leaving the past behind. That is what that is. And this, and like I said, I think that, that this person, you know, may be at a distance. This person could be in a warmer climate than you, or you could be in the warm climate. Communication. Honesty, truth. Remember. What you communicate to yourself will manifest. Keep that in mind. Big deal here. Hostilities. Amazing. Okay. So if you're holding on to hostilities, then that's why you still need to heal. There'll be somebody that writes in the comments, I'm not holding on to hostilities. The fact that you wrote that comment says you are. If it's a trigger, you are. You have to be healed. You cannot bring this with you into a new relationship. That's the, that's the sword that cuts. You can't go in there with pain. It's not fair to you. And it's not fair to the other person. There's hostilities that need to be healed before this can come together. You got to let go of the negativity. You need to let go of the pain. You need to let go of the warrior mode. I need to fight. I need to fight. I need to fight. No. No, 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 no. That needs to go. Appreciation. Whoever is coming in is going to appreciate you for the person that you are. They are going to see the beauty that you have inside of you. But you have to appreciate yourself before another person can appreciate you. You can't be bringing hostilities with you. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I feel like this is a week of manifesting. I don't feel as though... I mean, for those of you that are single, you know, there's a possibility that somebody could be headed in your direction, but I feel like we have a waiting period here. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you that that this this new love, I mean, I don't ha I don't I don't see that new love is just going to fly right in. I don't I feel like um 
you may be needing to travel to this person or this person may be traveling to you. I think this person is at a distance and there's a period of healing that needs to happen, whether you are the one that needs to heal or they are the one that needs to heal. Somebody is healing. We have a waiting period here. We do. I, I see that now is probably not the time to to come together with somebody new. I'm sorry. I'm not going to, I can't, I can't pretend. I, I, I can't pretend. I feel like you guys are going through some sort of rebirth within yourselves and you are taking your own spiritual journey and bringing balance back to your life. I think that you are in the process of completing one cycle and that the possibilities are going to open for you and you're going to have multiple, you're going to have multiple, multiple options, but you need to really envision what you're looking for. You know, you need to be honest with, you, with yourself. Is now the time? Or do you even know what you're looking for? What is your vision for the future? Have you set your vision? Do you have your goal? Do you, what kind of person do you want? Do you know what you want? You know, you have to set your intention for what you're looking for and then the possibilities will be endless. So I feel like this is a week of you, um figuring out where your happiness lies and allowing yourself to heal from the past hostilities so that these these new doors will open and so libra gemini aquarius i feel like i i see you guys are are moving in a new direction but right now we have a waiting period where you are basically calling in your soulmate so make sure you know who you're calling in take the time to to, to figure it out, write it down, get out that piece of paper and, and put it out, put it out there. What you're looking for by summertime, they'll be here. There will be, a, you will be able to make that choice. But I, I don't, I don't feel like it's going to happen right now because I think this is a time of you healing. Definitely. It's, it, it is. It's a time of you healing from the hostilities appreciating where you came from so that you will be appreciated you know you want a person that's going to appreciate you so that's who you want to call in so you know i feel like you are still dealing with some some trauma that needs to be released and you need to be honest with yourself this is the honesty honesty you have the power in your hands you do you have the power to to call in this right one but you you got to use it you got to use that power um, right now, there may be some communication going back and forth with somebody new. You know, it's just communication. I see. I think that there could be somebody definitely at a distance here, and maybe you're just starting the communication, okay? And it's going to lead you towards a lot of happiness. So that's what I see, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't. I don't feel like love is going to come flying into your life this week. I. I. I, I don't see that. I feel like you guys are leaving something behind. You're not taking very much with you. And the only way to do that is to, you know, allow yourself time to heal from something. Now, I don't know how long you've been single for, but sometimes people don't heal for years, years and years and years and years. I mean, we're all at different timelines. But whatever it is that you are calling in, whatever it is that you are manifesting, it is going to arrive. Make sure you know what you want because that's what you're calling in. It's a powerful week of you setting an intention. By summertime, you are going to receive that extreme happiness. Whether you travel to this person or this person travels to you, set your intention now. That's what I have. As far as signs go, we have Gemini, and this is a Taurus. Taurus rules the throat chakra. Um, we could have a Leo here. That's what I see. As far as, it could be any sign whatsoever. Any signs. I'm just telling you what I see in these cards. Either way, you have multiple options, but before these these the best option shows up you gotta bring balance and harmony back to your life and some doors need to be closed so that's what i see i apologize that this is not what you want to hear probably but it's what you need to hear because you want that one that is going to bring you the extreme happiness you don't want it just for tomorrow 
You want it forever, right? Set that intention right now. Good luck.